Okay, so today we are brewing a, a German dark lager, and uh, I got my water circulating. My water's heating up right now. We're going to do a step mash, so I'm heating my water up to 122. Going to throw my grains in, uh, steep them there for a protein rest, and then we're going to bump up the uh, temperature and mash out. Uh, so for this particular um, beer, we've got uh, five pounds of uh, German Munich malt, nine pounds of Pilsner, German Pilsner malt, and eight ounces of uh, Carafa II. So it should give us a nice uh, body of, of beer for this particular style. Um, using Palatar hops for uh, bittering and a German lager yeast. So another fairly basic recipe. Um, I've never done a dark lager before, so it'll be interesting. And this is only the second time I've used this system. My first uh, batch that I made with this uh, turned out, I hit all my targets. Uh, fortunately, the guys at the homebrew store warned me that when I do my first uh, all grain beer that I will probably undershoot my uh, my gravity, and I did. They uh, had me increase my grain bill, which ended up being uh, to the to the benefit of me because uh, with that increased grain, I actually hit my target gravities uh, for my original gravity, and I almost hit my um, final gravity. So I'm looking forward to seeing if I change my technique a little bit with uh, this system, if I might be able to increase my efficiency. So uh, bottom line for this one is I'm shooting for an original gravity of 1053 and uh, my uh, IBUs are going to be at about 30, give or take. I mean anybody who homebrews knows that's just kind of a swag. Uh, but uh, And then my color is going to be a 521. So it's going to be pretty dark on the on this color scale. So uh, we'll see what happens, and I'll check back it in with you in a little bit. Okay, we've uh, reached our 122 target temperature. So let's get the grains in. Break it up a little bit. bit more grain left. This is a pretty big grain bill. I don't think this will hold 20 pounds of grain. We got 14 and a half, so a little bit of grain room, but we'll get close. See, we are pretty, pretty full. Break this up a little bit. So, all right. So it's been an hour. I'm going to shut off my pump. I have my uh, final target temperature at 156. So, time to get the grains out. it up to a boil temperature as soon as I get this done. Set my pins. We'll let that drain for about 10 minutes. this up to a boiling temperature and once we get to a boil we'll start hopping our temperature is up to just over 202 and we are starting to get a boil going there so we're gonna be ready to add some hops here in just a minute nice dark color I was afraid maybe I uh, didn't hit my uh, calculations correct on the color of it, but uh, looks like it darkened up nicely. So uh, again, still looking forward to how this thing turns out. Nice boil going. 
So I've measured out one ounce of halita hops. So let's get that in the pot. I'll move my hoses in just a minute. Get them running through the work chiller and get that all set up. So got a large funnel here. I'm using leaf hops and the uh, hop basket is a little bit too small to uh, just dump leaf hops, leaf hops in there. So got this canning jar funnel that I think is gonna do the trick for us. All right, first ounce in. Only lost a couple hops. Let me grab those real quick. Just a couple leaves floating around in there. We'll just do that. And we're good. Excellent. Alright. So, uh, one ounce of Halitao hops for the 60 minute boil. And then at the 25 minute mark, I'm going to throw in a second ounce of hops. It's going to be a real mellow beer and then I'll toss my Warfleck in there uh, with 15 minutes left. So we'll check back in a bit. All right, 25 minutes left of the boil. Our second ounce of hops going in. Okay, so our hops are all finished. We have the pump running, chilling down the wort. Oh, there's a beer. You can't make a beer without drinking a beer. So we have the wort chiller going, and we're cooling down our temperature, and we're already down to 177 from 203. So we're gonna be moving it to the primary fermenter very soon. All right, we're cooled down to pitching temperature, filling our primary, standby for the original gravity, which is right there, get you a number. All right, so our target, the pump? Yeah, kill the pump. our target was 1053 and we hit 1052. So now we'll just see how well it ferments out for our final uh, ABV. Mm -hmm. 